Older women, we don't have to bring you nothing. Am I right, older ladies? No, they got it. They got two freezers. <laughs> they got everything you need. Older women, as soon as you hit they block, they got the, the lights from the airport. They, <laughs> and that's part of what makes older women better than young women. Just ask our guest, the hilarious Mark Curry, who yes. was shocked to see this video. Yes. Where is that <laughs> from? <laughs> we had to dig in the way back to find that, man. I, I don't even know. It looked like I was on my porch. <laughs> That's okay, right. so speaking of older women, I saw on your Twitter feed that a 96-year-old woman came to one of your shows recently. Yes, 96. yes, 96 years old. How, first of all, how did you meet her? How did you know that she well, was there? She came to the show. I saw her there, you know, and I walked up to her and, and started talking to her. She told me she was 96 years old. She loved to laugh. Aww. Man, so that's did what you, I'm saying. Did you feel the pressure, like, maybe i got to keep this a little cleaner? No, it don't have to be clean. <laughs> <laughs> she probably didn't hear anything I said, so it didn't make a difference. It didn't make a difference. All right, so i got to ask this. I mean, Holly Robinson, Pete, crush of mine, are you still in contact? And yes, like, I still see Holly. She's still beautiful. I was trying I to tape know. her. I still see Holly. I know. Yes, yes. She's a good friend of mine. I love her. She's still beautiful. Yes. Don't awesome. your kids go to the same school? Yes. Or they did go to the same yes, school? Yes, they go to the same school. So we still see each other almost every day. Okay. But see, in L.A., you know, parents don't see each other because they got, you know, drop off and, you know, it's not, it's different. But you don't have you your know. people dropping them off? No. <laughs> I still want to pay a fine. I still want to pay a fine. <laughs> I still want oh, to pay well, a fine. Let's talk about I'm that. I'm, I had to do that. Certain that on. people on this set last night were vehemently against Marshawn Lynch and some of his actions at Media Day. I won't point any no, no, figures. No, no. Let me clarify. <laughs> it does annoy me that he do, that he does that. But Why what annoys, does it annoy you? But you what annoys me you more know him. is that the reporters it, keep standing right. there asking questions. Right, they ask right. them 29 questions. Right, 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 what right. What is the deal? When are they going to figure it out? Walk over to somebody else, reporters. That's right. I mean, maybe the man who says he got to speak, I, I love it. It made it interesting. It made Media Day interesting for once. <laughs> We're sports fans. <laughs> Fellas, when do we ever watch Media Day? Hey, let's come over. We're going to have a Media Day party. Uh, uh, uh. Media Day. Tom Brady's talking. Be cool. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Come wait, on, wait, man. wait. Let's talk about Deflate Gate because yes. a lot of people. They cheated. Are furious they cheated. that the media is even talking about this late mm -hmm. game. Uh, because craft, you know, craft. I, I, I can't believe that. You cheated, Brady. <laughs> That's why you don't get blasted. You cheated. You guys are cheaters. Cheaters. Do you think the Seahawks are going to win? Yes. Marshawn Lynch, five touchdowns, Oakland, California. And then I think, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he's going to do. I think he's going to hang on the goal post and, <laughs> and dial somebody, you know. You know, He'll something. take his fine yeah, he from gonna, there, right? Yeah, he's he going to do something <laughs> incredible. He's going to pull out a, I don't know. Oh, anyway. man. Okay. It's going to be a great game, though. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on your Twitter feed, you're all, you talk about a lot of stuff. You talk about a lot of current events. You, talk about, yes. you talked about the State of the Union address. You talked yes. about uh, when Stuart Scott passed. Yes. Is there anything that you ever feel like, I don't want to get involved in this? I'm no, no, no. Freedom of speech. could do anything I want to do. I have, no, could do whatever I want, and I feel... You know, say whatever I want. Do people ever give you heat for anything? I don't care. You I don't care. Who cares? Don't read it. Never read the Twitter. Just send it. Never <laughs> look back. <laughs> never look back, people. Don't go back. Why you do that? Just send it out and never look back. It goes off into the universe. Yeah. And be done but, with but you know what? Honestly, there are things that I, I, I stay away from. I just have fun on my Twitter and my Facebook. Just have fun with it. I don't get politically yeah. deep into things. Or oh, wait, wait. We're coming back to that. Okay. You and I had a discussion. We need to take a break, okay. but we're coming right back. And Wake up! With Late Mark night, Curry. people! Yes, we do. Wake up! Performing in town this week. Check out the charlottecomedyzone.com, cltcomedyzone.com for tickets and time. We will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> heard of our guest, the hilarious Mark Curry. Do you ever get tired of the hanging with Mr. Cooper jokes? Never. Ever in my life. You can call me Mr. Cooper the rest of my life. I accepted it. I love it. I just love people who recognize me. When they, you see those clips, what do you think? Because I, I heard you go, oh, big Lord. shoulder said, wow, pads. Look at that. I, I never had no shoulder pads. No, but those were not your shoulders in no, that jacket. Were my, no, they were cut like that's what the way jackets were cut. I ain't had no shoulder pads in my jacket. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so we were talking conspiracy that theories. That was with a Vogue player. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was remember that, What do you say about the drone and all this stuff that's going down at the White House? Oh, my. That's the that's third assassination attempt on the president. First, it was a, a felon in the elevator with yeah. a gun. Oh, I, 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 maybe somebody ran up into his house and made a sandwich. <laughs> I, I never before they caught him, yeah, you're right. Before I, caught him, I, never, I never thought that Jay-Z would have better security than Obama. <laughs> Run up on Jay-Z line. I'm sure some dudes will beat you down with some ropes on. You know, you know I mean, wow. And now the drone. Uh, and this dude, worked. he worked for the... The the mapping the mapping part of yeah the he was a government employee mapper the mapper M A P mapping three a m I'm just gonna fly my drone yeah. and lose it over the White House ten blocks but he <laughs> he did the mapping so that was another one imagine you know Obama looking out the window I was like you know I mean you never know you know you never know and the Secret Service. Yeah, the Secret Service be kicking back know. watching things. It's kicking back <laughs> relaxing. You know, because okay. you know that dude on, on the roof didn't have that gun assembled. I didn't think nobody would ever do it. Oh, my God. He just threw, he just threw his cell phone at it. <laughs> All right. Really quickly, one question. Is there a celebrity that is off limits for you when it comes to jokes? Is there somebody, because you made a joke about Bill Tiger Cosby. Woods Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Okay. He, was my, he right. was my mentor. So right. Bill Cosby for me. Okay. All right. Well, get there's some still jokes, young comedians. Why you got to talk about Bill Cosby? There's still time to get tickets to Mark's com shows at the Comedy Zone. I'm crying. He's playing tomorrow through Saturday. Check out TLCComedyZone.com for details. I'm going to go into labor right now. There's yeah. more Edge oh headlines in the forecast when we come back. Dale Curry, we need to see you there.